for me, every day I will try my best to give all out on set or during the shoot because I love my career, long journey to go and I have my family to always support me all the time. Well, it's being real, right? For the audience to enjoy what you're doing because you're stepping into someone else's shoes to become this character. So it's important that you give it your best. For me, it's respect for audience and the fact that I never want to disappoint my audience. So that drives me to give my best. Coming on set, uh, every time I step on set, uh, I know that there is um, an entire village waiting for me to give orders or to steer the ship properly. And knowing that uh, really makes me feel accountable for what I do or what I say uh, in terms of like um, doing the job. So that really drives me to give my best every time I step on any set at all. I think Malaysia is supposed to do more like based on true story and superheroes. More women-centric roles, please. Uh, we have a lot of history about women who have done incredible things in this country and nobody's really made any films about them. And I think it'd be interesting to do some research and perhaps use their stories to create different kind of scripts. But we can always say in memory to this person or based on a true story, that kind of stuff. And I think that's what audience would be interested in. I would like to see biopics made of unsung heroes. Uh, there are plenty of them in Malaysia we can make films about. I would also like to see more inclusive films. In Malaysia, I think we, we mostly focus on the ethnicities that we know, which are the three main ethnicities, but we seldom forget, or we, we always forget the sub-ethnicities that we have in Malaysia. So I would like to see films that include sub-ethnicities in Malaysia that are more inclusive. I would love to see more female-led or female-fronted films directed, produced, shot through the eyes of women because I feel there's a there's definitely a big hole or gap there. A lot of people believe that female-led films don't perform as well as male-led films, but I don't think that's true. I, don't, I just think that there hasn't been an opportunity or space for women to really exercise their creativity in, in, in making films. Never give up, believe and bless. Determination, trust and a lot of luck. Lucky, fun, inspiring. I would say bumpy, rewarding, and fulfilling. Actually, one of my dreams to be work with other countries like Indonesia, Singapore, and Alhamdulillah, I got one of the roles for Pretty Delirious Indonesia. The Asian Academy Creative Awards is uh, equivalent to the Emmy Awards. And in 2021, I won an award for the AACA as in the best comedy performance as Mama Don in Kluaga Bahadon. So I'm super proud of that. For me, one of the most noble professions in the world is being a teacher. And I played the role of a teacher once and I've been accepted into the, the, the teacher's community, so to speak. So I'm very proud of that. Getting my debut film uh, having a review written about it in The Hollywood Reporter. I want to try to be antagonist and psycho maybe one day. The dream film for me would be the film that I executive produce and act myself. I would love to play roles um, that empower women and girls, but I would also like to um, play a role probably um, in an international level where I would make Malaysia proud in that sense and the women of Malaysia proud. So I look forward to something like that. I don't have one particular dream film that I would like to make. I just hope I can continue making films in the future, now and in the future. 